Living in a world where the attention span is three seconds or less and drastically decreasing every year, it's important that anything we build online is fast and secure. And today we're gonna to go over one of our favorite tools called Cloudflare, and we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. So stay tuned. So Cloudflare is a content delivery system that helps sites become faster, more secure, and it's a great place to manage all of your DNS records. Now, if you don't know what a DNS record is, uh, the best way to kind of describe it is, uh, it's the directions or the, or the address of where things are in the internet. And what Cloudflare does is helps you manage it. So if your address is, let's say nuno.com is the address, Cloudflare basically gives a direction. So it's like kind of the Google Maps or the Apple Maps of the internet world. And we like to use it because it's super fast, it's secure, there's a lot of service throughout the, the entire country, and more importantly, it's just a really great way to manage all your records in one place. So what we're gonna do today, and only for today, is we're gonna move over the name servers from GoDaddy where we bought the domain, which the name servers are basically giving the directions of, hey, this is the company that manages my records. So. Not that you can't do it in GoDaddy and Namecheap or in Google Domains. And actually, we really like Google Domains and Cloudflare. We, see, we feel that they have a lot of similarities. We just like Cloudflare because it has a lot more options and it's always growing. The greatest part about Cloudflare too is, is that Cloudflare, over time, as you grow, will have additional services and extra security that your business will need as you start climbing in popularity and the things that you start doing, right? And the more visits you get on a website and so forth. So, but the only thing to make it super simple today that we're gonna do is just, after the domain that we just literally bought, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the name servers that's gonna allow us to manage all the records, meaning all the addresses, inside of the DNS manager that Cloudflare uh, provides. And we're gonna be using the free version of Cloudflare because again, we're just starting, right? We just got the domain. We're not big enough where we need additional security, but now having it set here will enable us to grow later on as we kind of move forward. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna to go to Cloudflare. Now I already have an account. If you don't have an account, you're gonna go ahead and just hit sign up. I do have an account, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. I'm gonna use one of my agency accounts. So just give me a second. So I'm gonna pause while I log in. So your first time logging in is going to be a little bit different. It's actually gonna have an add a site right in the front in order for you to do that. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Ours, because it's already a little developed and we have a few in here, we're gonna hit the add site on the right hand side. Now, again, really simplistically, I wanna make sure I'm very clear on this. In later videos, we're gonna show you how to optimize a lot of the things you see on the left hand side. But for now, the only thing we're gonna do is move, because right now the domain is being managed by GoDaddy. We wanna manage it in here. Now again, this is a choice, this is not a requirement but we just feel it's super easy to manage records inside of here versus anywhere else. And now as we start building Google Workspace out and we start getting additional domains and we're gonna start teaching you how to build or how to do subdomains, it's important that we kind of do it the right way and the way we do it because we just feel that this is the best way to go about doing things. So what I'm gonna do is, I, I just, we literally just bought a domain before, so I'm in here in GoDaddy and I am gonna to go to my products and it should have all the domains that I've bought here listed. I am gonna to go to this Rapid Active Media because that's the one we just bought. I'm gonna hit Manage My Domain, okay? And I'm going to manage my domain again on the right-hand side. And I am going to all the way down, Manage DNS, and I'm gonna go down again. And what we're gonna do is go to the name servers. Now again, the name servers are basically the place where your domain is currently being managed. So I don't wanna manage my domains in here, I wanna manage in Cloudflare based on all the features I've told you before. Now, if I was to manage my domain directly in GoDaddy, which again is okay and you can do that, this is clearly a choice, you would just manage all your records in here. Now see, these are all different records. These are, and we're not gonna go into the different types. Again, there are brilliant, incredible people out there they're going to do this what we're going to try to do is just make things easy for you so with a lot less more explanation a little bit more tactical and just give you a brief overview so then we don't get too into the weeds because literally this is a whole universe that if you get really caught up into it's just going to be something that you're going to go in a rabbit hole and probably not going to come out for a few days so all we're trying to do is take the management of these records 
from GoDaddy into what we believe is an easier system to manage, which is Cloudflare. Now, by now you signed up with Cloudflare, you hit that add site button. If it was a brand new account, this would be something similar that you would see there. Now, in the GoDaddy domain, you're gonna see, uh, and again, I'm just gonna kind of do it over again. I'm gonna go to the GoDaddy main, because sometimes you're seeing it twice, helps it out a little bit. I'm gonna go to my name, I'm gonna go to my products, and if I go down to the bottom, you'll see the domains here, or if you scroll even more down, you'll see two places where the products are listed. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna go to this bottom part now, I'm gonna go to DNS, click on that, and once I'm in the DNS management area, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna to go to the name servers. Now, what we're gonna do is change name servers. Now, mind you, GoDaddy is gonna warn you against it. We, like I said before, have done this numerous times. We don't have a problem with it. So what I'm gonna do is, well, actually, before I do that, like I told you before, one of the biggest culprits in a lot of mistakes when it comes to domains is spelling the domain right. So in order for me to spell the domain right every time, I always copy and paste it from the source that I originally got, which for here, it's the DM DNS management of this particular address. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna enter it where it says the ad site. Now again, super easy, just to give you an idea where I went. I was in my account, I went and hit ad site, come over here, I'm gonna hit paste. So now I know that I got the right .com and I'm gonna go ahead and hit add site. When I do that, here are all the paid options that eventually you might need. But for now, I'm just getting started. I wanna have some good things here. Again, it prevents from some of the tax stuff that we have going on. It's got a huge network of servers, meaning this thing is all over the planet. And then more importantly, there is good community. There is a lot of educational videos on how to do certain things in here. This is why we always say when you're starting out, go with the bigger names. Sometimes cheap, especially in the internet world, is not always mean best. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna hit the free and we're gonna hit continue. Now it's searching, now what it's doing is basically scanning GoDaddy because it's like, hey, you have all these records. Do you want these records associated? And for now, we are gonna copy all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. And what it shoots out, it literally tells you, go into your GoDaddy account and change your name servers, which is what we're gonna be doing here. We go to the name server area, we're gonna to go to change. We're gonna go and enter our own name servers. And we are gonna to click to copy the first one, which is the first Cloudflare name server. Paste it here. And we're gonna to go to the next one, because there's two, and paste it here. If there's more, we would add more, but those are the only ones we need. We're gonna go ahead and hit save. And yes, it's gonna say all these things and warn you against it. We're gonna go ahead and consent and say continue. And we're gonna put our one-time password that they're gonna make a, an extra layer of protection. So they're gonna send it over to us. So I'm gonna wait for that password. I'm gonna pause the button. All right, it said it was successful. Now, if I refresh my pages here, it's got Cloudflare. Again, all I did is hit the refresh button right up here. It's got Cloudflare set up and notice that now my records are no longer here. Now that this is done, I'm gonna hit done, check name servers. I'm gonna skip all the recommendations. I'm gonna go ahead and hit check name servers again. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side and hit DNS, and then I'm gonna stay here because eventually I'm gonna leverage this in order to add additional records. Now, in the next several videos, we're gonna show you how to set up your email, your calendars, all that wonderful stuff. And more importantly, later on, we're gonna show you how to build out your site. Now, the reason why this screen is important is because this is the screen where you're gonna put in all the records that are gonna be incredibly important for you to do all of this inside the internet realm of things, right? So stay tuned, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start leveraging the DNS record management in here to help you set up all of your records, which again, later on, you're gonna to use to build out your email addresses, to build out your domains, where people are actually gonna to go to your websites uh, and your funnels, and we're gonna get into all of that, and we're gonna show you how to do it all from here. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy the video.